ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Twisted Coy. How are we doing out there, cupcakes, on this miserable Thursday morning? <laughs> I say miserable because it's it's all cloud. And you, Coy Filtration. Yes, a new channel I have just found today. Sadly, you cannot comment at this moment in time, but if they are watching, when you publish your videos, just before you publish, if you tick that little box that says, no, it's not for kids, then people will be able to comment on your videos. Anyway, go across, give him a subscribe, and when you're able to, drop him a comment, tell him the twisted one sent you. Well, before I do much today, I've got to clean the filter on the garage on tank, because I want to get this pump swapped over, because as soon as I get the pump swapped over, it will stop my leak. These are doing really good. I don't know what temperature we're at today. Oh, just slightly under 16. So it's taking me almost a week to drop 10 degrees. And that's with having the, the long block door open until about 11 o'clock at night. And doing uh, water changes and filter things. So uh, yeah, then have another Built clean this morning and they will end up having a big water change because I've got to empty the uh, the bio chamber because the uh, the slide valve down there lets through so uh, yeah so that's the first plan I've got to say a big shout to my man the rocket boy for coming round yesterday coming round yesterday and helping me uh, Helping me uh, with uh, the backfill. Oh my word, I tell you what, it's hard work. It really is hard work. But we managed to get 16 bags down the gap. Uh, there's still another big chunk that's got to be done down that wall. But I'm going to do a little bit more. And then I'm going to start with the, uh, the blocks and the concrete to reinforce the corner. So, uh, yeah, let me spin you around. Oh, yeah. Right round, Stubbsy, right round. <laughs> yes! Spin you round. So, yeah, as you can see, that clay is absolutely solid. It ain't going anywhere. But we've got a big chunk down there to start filling in, and then I can start reinforcing the corner started packing in along here but now i've got to get some flint and pack that in on top so i can start getting my next layer sorted so we've got a few more bags to get rid of in there a whacker down flat and then i'm going to put some flint in bash that in and then we'll start our first course we i've got a big chunk backfield down there so Today we'll get concrete and blocks up the middle there as a pillar. I've got to put some membrane against the fence and then uh, that will get backfilled with clay as well, packed down rather, rather solid. And yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. And uh, all the water that's in amongst all that clay as it's being packed in is slowly starting to show itself in the bottom of the pond so go in there and give that a bit of a, a whack down as well at some point a day they really don't like the temperature drop they're doing all right. Like I say, I want to get this. You can see it. Drip, 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 drip. So yeah, that one's coming out. That one's going in. I mean, these are doing all right in here. And the increase in speed should help on a few of those bellies, that's for sure. I still reckon a few of them little ones have disappeared. <laughs> no doubt where they've gone. 
Hey, Kinshawa. Shisui. Yeah, Kinshawa, once temperature's a bit, more, bit lower, we'll go into the Tosai tank, as will the Chiba. But the, the Deutsche Antonishbis and a few of the others will go across to the IBC tank for moving on. You see that one there? That, yeah, yeah, I say, you see that one there? There's a fucking tank full, Vincent, with that blaster. You see this one that looks black and white on the top? Well, that was actually one of Rick's Asagi Achievers that has now thrown out loads of sumi. In fact, that might actually be the one that I said was Achiever at Suri. Well, uh, uh, I would say that is now Matt's Kalbaki. But yeah, just need to get the temperature a little bit lower in here and then we will uh, give these a bit of a sort of through and a thin out. Because, providing Ricky is back from his holiday, and I think he is because the schools go back Monday, we will be back at the farm on Monday, trying to get back into a normal routine. Still going to be around for Mara as and when she needs, but she's she's even said that we've uh, we've both got to try and start getting getting into some sort of uh, normality. Uh, we are slowly but surely managing to get stuff sorted down at the out for her but like she says we we do a little bit at a time because it gets a bit overwhelming uh, yeah mm. a bit overwhelming but we do what we do and we carry on as they say but yeah hopefully we'll have all the backfilling done in this front wall here we'll have all the backfilling done on the side wall there and we'll have all the backfilling done on the back wall by the end of play today and on top of that I need to go out the front and I'm going to take one of the Tempests off and the reason I'm going to take one of the Tempests off is because there's no uh, isolation between the, the two Tempests and when it comes to boiling and dropping it boils one but drops two if that makes sense because they're joined so uh, yeah I'm going to take the one out for the moment just, just for ease of use to be totally honest and turn this air pump off for a minute. That'll probably cheer them up. <laughs> yeah, but uh yeah uh, so also with uh with one being taken off I can then start working out where my woodwork's gotta go to actually fit the tempest where I want them. That's going to be fun. But yeah, these want a little bit of food. her own business has exploded now she's been turned back on so yeah all looking good there me uh, me fern has uh, solidified that was all floppy and horrible the other day <laughs> look chancho show her <laughs> well, my little fruit bats, that's that running. I've had to turn down the uh, the flow through the old veg box because it was uh, a splash and having too much, you know. But seems to be handling well. No leaks. I've got rid of a big chunk of pipe work. Flow restrictions are us. So yeah, that's in the bin. Gone. So we're now <coughs> we've now gone from. 
34 watts an hour to 48 watts an hour plus the air pump whatever that is and it's a, a meadow so it's a new meadow so it's pretty good actually I would say so yeah I would say around 100 watts I'm running this system on so yeah chucked a bit but like I say I did have to turn the flow down on this though but considering that they are what people call a budget pump I've never had any problems with these J-Cod pumps and I know what was leaking it was the uh, the plastic for the hose cell had split so it wasn't actually the pump itself was leaking it was the joint up here where it had uh, been moved about but we've got a bit more flexibility now because we're literally coming straight out the pump and in no up out round and down and up so yeah you know what I mean so yeah all sweet there all back to normal all tidy and like I say at 6,000 litres an hour litres an hour running 48 49 watts an hour they're tucking in some munch underneath the shower and we've managed to drop it one degree but I found my skimmer now I'm going to give this one a whirl and the only reason I'm going to give this one a whirl because you're supposed to be able to uh, keep the skimmer running and not have the food go down there I was going to test it before I took the old pond down but I actually need the pipe to, needed the pipe to be longer for this one to work so with that in mind if I don't get on with this one I can take it out shorten the pipe down and put my old original one back in but it does look pretty good for what it is you know just turn the basket open the basket pull the basket out now this wasn't sent to me by mountain tree this was actually sent to me by my man Aaron at Humbakoi nice one brother but next jobs are out there we've got to get that membrane up against the fence got to get some bags in so Susan can get them stamped down in front of there and then I'm gonna start making up some uh, concrete to go and start securing these uh, corners before we bring the clay back in as you can see we've hit our level there and we still got to go across but I want the concrete in in that corner before I put any more in so yeah that's what we're at next well my little fruit bats I am absolutely oh, talking about fruit bats there's Vince yeah. how you doing? alright just need a little bit of paint on your fence you painting my fence? no not yet <laughs> yeah. You've been working in our front garden again, boy. All oh, right, yeah, well, we know what he's like, don't we? But yeah, anyway, <laughs> a chat with the neighbours aside. <laughs> yeah, well, you haven't been out here, Mary, very often, and you haven't seen me, so I thought while I'm out here grabbing, grabbling, fucking hell, Vincent, while I'm out here grabbing a load of the flint off of the uh, off the beds to pound in to make me a, a bit of a foot in to slam in a bottom course of blocks which will then have uh, uh, clay compacted up against it so yeah I'm gonna go nowhere uh, but yeah let me spin you around and show you the uh, the big babies before it gets too dark so yeah I'll tell you what the big babies are doing really really well considering since they've been here I've only cleaned the tempest out once and I couldn't clean them properly because like a dickhead I didn't put a slide valve in between so you boil this one and then you go empty it and it empties both so uh, that's a day for the weekend job for the weekend is I'm going to take the tea piece out top and bottom and I'm going to put a 90 in and I'm just going to run the one tempest for the minute means that I can clean it and dump it a little bit more regularly not that I think it needs it at the moment because fish are doing absolutely fine uh, but then it also gives me a tempest to play about with in long block so I can get the uh, the positioning right and everything for when 
they both go in there on the uh, on the bioreactor because that's the uh, both of them will be the re the uh, the skimmer mechanical filter but yeah they probably got the right um because I love they've hardly had any food if I'm honest but they don't seem the uh, seem the worst for it so uh, yeah and uh, that will probably have helped with the fact that I uh, haven't cleaned it, you know. So not feeding them, I think, has helped. But I just wanted to keep keep the uh, the levels and everything down to as, as minimal as I can. The only one thing that has changed in, in here is the uh, kick, is the kicker suey. It, that is thrown out sumi left, right and centre now. So, yep. Yeah. The kicker suey that got second in size and class uh the national is now a deutsche amatonishki <laughs> so yeah i had a visit the other day didn't you betty and tony came and visited checked up on his on his shiro doing fine here tone so anyway yeah i'm going to put you down for the minute i'm going to grab the last of this and then i can start the cement mixer up well, my little popsicles, that us, that us, that's us come to a bit of a close for today. We got one area all pounded in and ready. I got some blocks in to start things off. I did, uh, I did put some something extra in the mix because they were given to me, so why not? Some of this Black Knight Wizard Fiber fiberglass fibers or something so I thought well why not because it's gonna bind it together absolutely fucking banging and then all I'm gonna do now is I'll well, let me spin you out nope nope tune back in you dickhead yeah there we go that will do but yeah So there will be a couple more blocks going along here as a foundation for the base course going along. But like I say, it don't look pretty, but it's going to get cladded anyway. But you can see, look, you see these fibres that are in it. It's supposed to be really good if you want to render your pond and paint it. But yeah, that's what I've used it for. So yeah, got that corner in and almost the first run all the way down there. Haven't done any backfilling on that wall or on that wall because we've been concentrating on this front wall today. I've been bringing the bags in and Susan's been stomping on them with the wellies and then I've been going around with the whacker. I'll tell you what, this thing I've got to say, Ads, brother, you're only know, fucking getting some use, but this thing has been a godsend. Absolute godsend. So, yeah, we're away on the second course. And now what I'm going to do is I've got some stainless steel brick ties here that I got from Big George. And what I plan to do is fold them in half drill a hole in the mortar stuff that in folded in half so like so it'll be stuffed in there and then the next block will go in and then I'll stuff one in there and then the next course will go over the top and that's what we're going to do all the way down we're going to double these up pinch them down with a pair of pliers they're gonna go in. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. All the strength I need. So yeah, that's where we are at for the moment. Can turn their light off now while I've cleaned up. Okay, why hasn't that switched off? Hmm. My time has gone all the fucking cock for some reason. I'll sort that out in a minute. But yeah, we've managed to get rid of another 
18 bags of soil and I reckon by the time I'm finished there won't be a bag left to get rid of only the pile of wood but yeah absolutely buzzing it's coming along slowly but surely so tomorrow I'll put a, put a hole in the uh, in the in the wall and then we'll continue on down but yeah this is the stuff we've got mixed in with it any extra strength is extra strength isn't it And these are these are loving the extra flow that's for sure and even though the temperature is dropping slowly but surely what we're at at the moment we're still at 15 degrees hmm. they're still on the food though still on the food so on that glorious note I'm gonna call it a day and as always guys and girls don't forget like share subscribe all that malarkey I've been twisted Kai you let out there you know you're great and if I don't see you tomorrow I definitely see you again that's all cupcakes Yes, makes it all worth it.